Class, how are you today? I hope you are all doing great. It's my pleasure to be with you as we explore and learn more about Science 5. By the way, I'm Teacher Carmi and welcome for the lesson in Science 5. Are you ready? That's great! So if you're ready, let's begin. I know that you are excited to learn something new today. I hope everyone is ready. Just give your... First topic is the female reproductive system. It is made up of several organs which include the ovaries, fallopian tube, uterus, and vagina. This is an egg cell. This is the female reproductive cell. Did you know that the egg cell is the only one-tenth of a millimeter? That's right! It is about the size of the diameter of a hair stream. Well, the egg cell is not capable of movement unlike the male reproductive cell, which is the sperm cell. The, the sperm cell is able to move. And when a sperm cell and egg cell unite, it is called fertilization. It means one life begins. Now, let's talk about the different parts and functions of the female reproductive system. This is the female reproductive system. Number one. The ovary. This is the ovary. It produces egg cells as well as female sex hormones. The female sex hormones are called estrogen and progesterone. Female humans have two ovaries. Did you know when a female was born? and about 70,000 potential egg cells are already present in the ovaries. However, only 500 of these eggs will mature. The, the mature eggs are released one by one every month once the female reaches puberty or teenager. The releasing of egg will slow down or stop when the female is about 43 to 55 years old. Now, what is fallopian tube? This is the fallopian tube. This leads the egg from the ovary to the uterus. This is also the usual site of fertilization of the egg cell and sperm cell meet and unite. Female humans have two fallopian tubes, each connecting to the ovary to the side of the uterus. Next is the uterus. This is the uterus. It is called the womb. The uterus is a hollow muscular organ located at the lower abdomen. It has a soft, smooth, inner lining called the uterine lining or endometrium. This lining becomes thicker as it accumulates blood and nutrients to accommodate the unborn baby as it develops. Uterus is also the site where the fertilized egg is implanted. If the egg cell is not fertilized, it will break together with the uterine lining and is discharged during menstruation. Next is the cervix. This is the cervix. It is located at the lower part of the uterus. It is a narrow opening between the uterus and the vagina. During childbirth, it expands to allow the baby to the passage of the baby. And then, 
the vagina. This is the vagina. It is called the birth canal. The vagina is a hollow, muscular tube that extends from the cervix to the vagina opening called the vulva. It expands to let the baby pass during normal delivery of birth. Hi, are you still there? Very good. It's nice to know that you are still there for another exciting adventure. Stay tuned because we're not done yet. Next. All boys that are watching have this. This is the male reproductive system. The male reproductive system is made of several organs. These are specifically responsible for producing sperm cell and hormones. What is sperm cell? Well, it is important for reproduction because it is needed to fertilize an egg cell that which came from a female reproductive system. On the other hand, hormones are responsible for the development of adult male characteristics. A male can produce numerous or a lot of sperm cells. Did you know that an average man can have approximately 5 million sperm cells in a single drop of semen? But out of this million of sperm cells, only one is needed to fertilize an egg cell. Now, let's talk about the different parts of male reproductive system and their function. Number one, the penis. This is the penis. It is the external male organ with a deep and cold gland. It is covered with a foreskin that may be removed through circumcision. Penis function is this. By filling with the blood, penis will be able to erect. Therefore, it will be able to penetrate during sexual intercourse. Number two, scrotum. This is scrotum. It is a pair of punch like sac that contains the testes. Also control the testis temperature because it must be slightly cooler than the body to produce sperm cell. Now, what is testis? This is the testis. If only one, you can call it testis. But since we boy have two, you can call it testis. There are the glands that produce the sperm cell, also responsible for the male sex hormone called testosterone. Number 4. The Epididymis This is the Epididymis. It's a narrow cold tube that stores sperm cells. It is located at the back of the Testes. 5. The urethra. This is the urethra. The urethra in the males is the passage way of both urine from the urinary bladder and the semen from the glands. Number 6. Seminal vesicles. This is the seminal vesicles. These are sac like pouches attached to the vast difference. It contributes to the semen production by making sugar rich fluid 
which provide energy from the sperm cell motility. Next is the vast difference. This is the vast difference. It is a long muscular tube that serves as the passageway of the sperm cell release from the testis. It also connects the testis to the seminal physical and the urethra. Number 8. Cooper's Gland This is the Cooper's Gland. Cooper's Gland, also called the Bulburethra Gland, is one of the two pie-sized organs found beneath the prostate gland. It is responsible for releasing fluid that flushes out the rain, mother, and neutralizes the acidic urine in the urethra. Last, the prostate gland. This is the prostate gland. It is the gland located between the bladder and the penis. It is produces fluid that nourishes the and protects the sperm. Is the function of the part of the male reproductive system. That's it for our lesson for today. I'm very happy that until the end of the lesson, you are there for listening. I know by now you are already familiar with the different part and function of the reproductive system. I hope you enjoyed and had some fun while watching. You are a great learner.